So are you ready for some high quality transition effects directly in the edit tab instead of having to go to fusion? Well, let's see how to do it in Resolve. With DaVinci Resolve 16 version 2, adding high quality transition effects into your project are easier than ever. Now many of you are a little uncomfortable navigating Fusion or perhaps your computer resources just really struggle when opening that tab. In fact, I try to avoid that myself and I've got a fairly decent uh, high powered machine. But with Camera Move Pro from R Visuals, they've really uh, taken the next step of making this easy for us as creators. They've integrated all of their transition effects in this pack, which they have 100 effects, all right here in the effects library, video transitions, and right here under fusion transitions. So I've already integrated those or loaded those 100 effects into here, and now it's just a matter of dragging and dropping onto the timeline. Okay? So let me show you a few tips here. So here's the transition. If I select it and I bring up the inspector tab, you can see very quickly um, here I've got the effect. And actually what I'm going to do here, actually I want to put it on this other side here. So let's, uh, let's delete that and drag this over here. So before I start editing, um, what I want to do is make sure my uh, project properties are set up so that they, this makes it as easy as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do here is under Optimize Media and Render Cache, I'm going to go into Optimize Media Format, and this is what I usually do for all of my clips anyway. I usually set this for HQ. But then the most important thing to do, which really affects the transition, is the Render Cache Format. So I'm going to set this for SQ, and then I'm going to select uh, enable background caching after one second and check the box that says automatically cache transitions in user mode. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now you're going to notice a line here. So it's automatically starting to cache uh, this transition effect. That way, in a few um, seconds here, uh, I will be able to, uh, to, um, to play this. So now if I play the transition back, we can see how it works. Now let's say that I want to uh, do something a little different. I want to adjust the position of the zoom. So I'm going to select it here, go into Inspector, and then I'm going to say Show Center Pivot Overlay. All right. So now I see this here, and if I want to move this, all I have to do is adjust this here. And let's say I want to go in the upper corner over there. So I'm going to move that there. Uh, let's there. All right, so now I'm going to wait for it to recache. And obviously I can adjust other uh, characteristics such as the blur quality, shake, the speed of the shake, and so forth. And all of this is fully customizable, as you can see here in the edit page. You don't have to go into the Fusion tab and, and deal with the, uh, the other complexities and, and resource loading. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure to turn this off because if you render or if you um, deliver, go into the deliver tab and actually create an output, actually we'll put that on there. So let's turn that off. Okay, so let's play it back. All right. So like I said, it's really easy to set this up. Drag and drop the transition and you put it in. Now what about the sound? So um, this transition pack also comes with sounds. So once you import this into your sound library, all you have to do is search. And so the transition that I'm dealing with here is zoom out spin. So I'm just going to search for zoom out spin. And the nice thing here, if you notice, I'd have to make this a little bigger so you can see that. But there's a couple of different ones. I'm going to go, I don't care about the glitch ones, but right here, zoom out spin left, left and right. Here we go, right. So you're going to notice here they've got three or four different um, durations. So this one's one minute, one and eleven, one minute, eleven seconds, two minutes, three minutes. So depending on the duration of your transition, that's the only other thing I forgot to mention, you can adjust this as you see fit. So let's say, let's set this for one eleven, right there at a one one twelve or so. So I'm gonna set this, go into inspector, and that looks good. 
I'm going to take the one that's here, 111. I'm going to just drag it down here. And now all of a sudden, I'll wait for this to render. And you'll see that it's the perfect length for that clip. Okay, so now we can see that it's rendered the cache, so let's play it with the sound effect. Okay, so it looked like it fit perfectly. So a couple of things that I want to highlight here, if I go back to the effects library, you're going to notice here um, there's several effects that say FS which uh, stands for essentially light for render. So uh, these are transitions that you may can get by without having to render the cache, or if you render the cache, it's very fast. Uh, the, the heavier effects are the ones without the FS. And so um, if you're in a rush, or if you don't wanna uh, have to deal with all of that, uh, the time it takes sometimes to render the cache, then you can uh, use those effects. And uh, many of the most common ones are used here and they have the FS there. So. I really like this pack. Like I said, it's 100 uh, effects. One of the things that our visuals recognizes is that as they continue to um, uh, bring enhancements and, and new features and integrate it into the newer versions of Resolve, uh, for those of you who have already uh, purchased certain packs, uh, they offer uh, a discount, a significant discount. In certain, certain cases, uh, perhaps you can get this pack for free. But for those of you who maybe are, are buying this for the first time, uh, look below in the comment section and I've got a promo code that you can use to get a discount. So hope you enjoy this. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.